Hello and welcome. This is Melskinner, and we're back some more. Neo Scavenger, continuing on with my I'm Not a Cannibal playthrough. And I have had run-ins with Dogmen recently. I've killed three of them in rapid succession. Hopefully no more come, as I'm going to have to end my turn here. Well, that's, that's a little bit better than a Dogman. All right, so... We've got some crafting to do. Now, I have managed to craft three new arrows in this area, but unfortunately, I have exhausted the means that I have to make more arrows in the area. I, I may want to take these shards of glass with me. I'm going to take them out one at a time and separate them and see if we can get some good condition ones out of this. So these two are... This one's passable. I'll take this one with me. The others are, I would say, not passable. So we do have three arrows. I lost most of my arrows, and I do... I'm going to take this scrap of paper with me just as a, as a possible uh, recipe to make more arrows, and I think I'm going to take some of these sticks with me as well. I am going to drop this heavy chunk of meat because we are burdened. I'm going to craft here. Going to take uh, the fire and some sticks and one of these chunks of meat. I'm going to cook that up. Now going to eat. And then what I'm going to do, I'm going to use the fire to cure some meat. So. I think we only have two of these. Oh no, we have three of these smaller chunks of meat. And those are going to be just little snacks for us that we take with us. We're going to need three there. So what we're looking for... Oh, we're going to need our trapping skill. That's the one thing we're missing. Okay, now we have the ability to cure. This will make the meat last longer. Alright, and that's going to be our snack. Or later... If we do indeed get hungry. Alright, so... We have the means to make a couple more arrows, which would fill us up as far as that goes. We are running... Not necessarily out of ammunition for our pistol, but we did expend a fair amount of it to kill those three dogs, so... Not too happy with that. Oh, I should probably have... More sticks than what I have. I just accidentally only carried one. Okay, so we are burdened. Maybe I should take only as much as I want here. Okay. Let's try that again. You go there, you go there. There we go. That's what I'm looking for. So that we're not so burdened. Uh, we're a little bit thirsty, but I, I don't think I'm going to drink water just yet. I am going to look for paper over here, as there might be some. And what we've scavenged, there is. Okay, so we actually have enough to make one more arrow if we use these scraps of paper. So, oh, and there's also an arrow here. Okay, well, I'll take that even though it's not in great condition. I don't know if that was just one of the errant shots that, I guess, flew into another hex. So that's kind of, uh, I didn't expect that, but let's craft ourselves up one more arrow. So we're going to take the glass here. And the paper. I'm hoping this will work, even though it's different types of paper. Different types of paper. It should still work. I'm hoping. Take the sticks. Need a multi-tool and the string. Oh, and a range skill. There we go. So confirm and. Clear. And that's all the paper we have, so I'm just going to go ahead and put the stick down. We technically have full arrow allotment, and I guess that's going to be good for me uh, for now. We're still looking for the foil, which I've been unlucky and not been able to find. I am very tired from the engagement with the the dogmen, and I might want to make camp. Uh, I do have the fire back here, and I could sleep, but, I mean, it's still early morning. I really hate to waste the opportunity here. Okay, and turn. 
Okay, there's another dogman in the area. Yeah, we're going to start moving out of here. At this stage. Hopefully we can find what I'm looking for, although I'm getting very close to Camp Grayling. I think mostly at this stage I have to go to the west. Another dogman here. Well, we might encounter it. Um, let's go ahead and put the compound bow in our hand, which we didn't have. Uh, so we are ready to go if we have another fight here. Oh, look at this. We're getting some information here about a dogman attacking an unknown target. Hmm. Okay, interesting. Let's end turn. Alright, so I'm going to go down here as a place to scavenge. We are still looking for the foil. Alright, unfortunately we didn't find any. We did find a source of water, which I'm going to pass on for now. Okay, so it could be these guys that are fighting the dogmen. Which is good for me. If I can find where they're camped out, maybe I can uh, actually find a place to hide out. We need to start going towards the north. If we want to go to Camp Grayling. Okay, we've got a lot of places to sca uh, scavenge here. I'm going to go over to this place first, and then we'll go up north, because that's, that's where we need to go to Camp Grayling. I think we're... I mean, we still have to go to west as well, but... Hopefully we find more way places to scavenge along the way, and we indeed... and We did indeed, so... Uh, let's start with the storage shed here. Use our lighter. Okay, nothing useful. Right, we'll end our turn. Okay, continue to scavenge here. Okay, looks like we found a lot of things. Ah, there we go. This is probably going to do it for us. We also found another lighter. Now, if I can find... Just checking all these things over. If I can find even more foil, then we could technically make two of these things. There is a crowbar here, and in case, in case we do come across a lock storage shed, but for now, I'm not going to carry it because it's probably going to be too heavy for us. All right, let's go ahead and craft and get the foil out of these suckers. So, that and that. Confirm, clear. Confirm, clear. Oh, I'm very pleased with this. Okay, so... I don't think it's very likely we're going to get enough to be able to build two of these ponchos. I'm going to go ahead and build them now, though. From what I understand, you can't wear them for very long before they deteriorate. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to stick it in my pack, and I'm hoping that it won't deteriorate if it's in my pack. I think only wearing it is probably going to deteriorate it. Now, if that is not true, if putting it in my pack and it only lasts a couple turns, that would kind of piss me off. But let's see what we can do here. So we've got string. And all of the foil we're going to need. And I may need the multi-tool as well. And there we have it. Patrick foil, Patrick foil poncho. Okay. It's fairly large, so I'm going to have to make room for it in my pack. I, I think we should still be able to carry it. Carrying two is going to be tricky, though. So I think this might be uh, it as far as... You know what? It might even fit down here if I just move some, a couple things. There we go. Okay, there we go. Now, again, if this deteriorates even when not using it, I'll be p fairly uh, uh, displeased. I think uh, I'm just going to go ahead at this point and uh, go to the Camp Grayling. I think having two patchwork uh, foil... Ponchos would be extremely good, but unfortunately, I don't think the likelihood we're going to find another... I mean, we've got 10 foil at this point. The fact we're going to find another 50 foil before we get there, I don't think it's particularly high. So, I think we're going to probably move on at this point. But what I am going to do, to try and lower the load that we've got here, 
is I am going to drink some of my water. Might not make a difference, but... We are a little thirsty. Sometimes a little bit of weight is all you need. Okay, unfortunately we're still burdened. How are our wounds doing? I haven't taken a look at them in a while. So we've got 82.3 and 36.8. Uh, the wound's still there. So, all right, we're going to still need the bandage. All right, I'm going to continue to scavenge here as it could be valuable to do so. Uh, we could always find more ammunition, for example. Here's a case of a crowbar that we could take with us if we wanted to. We have the monkey wrench, which could be a valuable close range attack, but I think we're good there. Go ahead and uh, scavenge one more time. Oh, yeah, we could be using the crowbar right now to help us with the, the looting. Okay, looking through here, we found even more things. Um, Painkiller. Considering that that bottle's pretty much full, I think I'm going to transfer that into there. And move that. We've got a lot of pain pills. Nice to see. And anything else exciting? We do have a left boot, which is in better condition than our boot, finally. So we'll swap those two out. So we've got two fairly good condition boots. All right, well, we need what we need. Oh, I'm sorry, we have what we need. Now it's time to move on here. Now, the crucial thing is at the end of this turn, is our foil poncho going to deteriorate? I really hope it doesn't. Take a look at it. No. Okay, good. As long as it's in our pack, it's safe. When we wear it, I think our time is going to be minimal. So we're going to start moving up to Camp Grayling. As far as I know... We have everything we need. I am going to need to sleep at some point, probably. I'd be very bummed out if we got into a situation where I died at this point. Because look how close we are to Camp Grayling. We're literally right there. So, let's take a look at this. See if it's a good camp. That yeah, looks like it will be uh, just fine. Go ahead and end our turn. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and make our camp here. So first thing I'm going to want. I'm actually not sure if I want a fire at this point. I'm going to say no fire. Because uh, it's day. And I don't want to draw any attention to me. But I am going to do all of the other things I would normally do in a camp. So we're going to... Um, well, first we're going to do this. Okay, got that. Put that in our camp. Let's grab our sleeping bag. Put that in our camp. Now for noise traps. So all of our empty bottles are going to be used for this. It should only take three, so that's what we're going to do. Okay. The next thing I'm going to do is with what action points we have left, I'm going to hide my tracks, I'm going to hide myself, and I'm going to sleep. Now, if it we wake up and it's nighttime, then I'm going to build my fire. But we might be able to get a lot done here as far as sleeping while well, it's still light out. So we might be able to have the good fortune of not being snuck up on uh, when it's nighttime. So uh, the chance that we'll die, probably less. Which I'm a fan of. So let's go ahead and take a look at crafting a fire now because it is getting darker and we don't want to be blind, so confirm that. Oh, I'm grabbing more. <laughs> I didn't need to do that. I already did that. Uh, okay, trapping. Firm. There. 
Trapping back. Okay. And we can make more arrows and things here if we want to, but... Just go ahead and get our sleep now. And hopefully we are... Okay. Damn, it's a dogman and he's right on top of me. And he hit me already. Uh, dogmen seem to be able to get through noise traps without any problem. That drives me crazy. Alright, well, he managed to claw me up a bit there. Um, he's probably going to get another attempt here. So, we could pull him down, or we could just, uh, get up. We could also shoot him from our back. I don't know how smart that is. But just get up at this phase. Okay, he managed to hit me. We're going to hit him with a flurry of blows with the uh, bow and arrow. I'm hoping this hits. Okay, it looks like we managed to do good work there. Although we did get a hit again uh, by the dog man. So we managed to pin him down. Uh, he is suppressed. Um, his, we hit him with the, uh, the lower right leg. He's stunned and unable to move. He lacerated his upper stomach and his upper chest. I think we're going to use this time to run away from him. Which we got good distance there. Go ahead and fire off another arrow. Looks like we managed to hit him and knock him unconscious. Alright, so now's our time to beat him to death. So I'm going to switch over to our fist. We're going to charge. And we're going to just flurry a blow him until he's dead. Okay. Well, that sucked uh, really bad. Let's immediately go into our medical. Well, I, I should be able to still do stuff even if I don't have action points. So we've been cut to all hell. I do have enough dis disinfectant to get the bad ones. So this is exactly what I was afraid of at this late sta stage of the game. And I was hoping we would get through the night with enough rest that we could then just watch. So I did one, two, three. Let's go ahead and grab our bandages. So that's the last of our booze. And then I'm going to use just sterile water for the rest. And we're going to do another bandage here. Okay. So... We are fairly hurt, but I think we'll be okay. We're not in severe pain, so I don't feel like we really need to use any pain pills. I'm going to go ahead and... Was that dirty water I just used? That was non-sterile water. Oh, man. I'm going to take this bandage off real quick, and I'm going to use actual sterile water to... This is not... All right, well, we're going to sterilize the water. Um... I'm just going to leave this bandage off so I know that that one hasn't been sterilized properly. And, um... I should probably still put the bandage on, though. So, let me go ahead and do that. I just have to remember that this one hasn't been sterilized. It's good I check sometimes, but... Ugh. All right, well, let's go ahead and go into... Uh, first off, end our turn. And we have another one show up. This is bad. Yep. Okay, we're going to get up. Why were we... We were tackled. <sighs> Alright, well... I'm going to switch to my bow. I never picked up my bow. Alright, we're going to run away. He hit us. I'm going to have to run away again because I can't en uh, enter my inventory. I'm going to have to open. So I left the bow on the ground, unfortunately. My bad. I was just trying to think about dealing with the wound. And uh, unfortunately, I never got a chance to do so, really. So, okay. And I'm going to run again so that we get our distance. Okay, we're going to shoot. Managed to hit him. He's stunned. We're going to shoot him again. 
I managed to hit him again. Uh, seems like he's stunned yet again, so we'll shoot him again. Still is registered as stunned, so let's hit him one more time. Still standing. Let's go ahead and lure him into a trap here. It looks like it worked. And uh, we did slash his uh, chest there. Let's go ahead and uh, fire one more time here. Okay, the dogman is unconscious. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and just enter my inventory. I think I don't have much of a choice here. I think I have to go and beat him to death. So let's just uh, charge in and beat him to death. And beat him to death. I mean, I, I think I'm hitting him. Beat him to death. All right, let's punch him. Kick him. And this is burning through all of the stuff that we just <laughs> spent all that time. I don't want to flee because then I leave the square. So let's uh, hit him again. This dog just will not die, huh? Okay, let's hit him again. Kick him. And how many times can you hit a dog here? I mean, it's saying I'm hitting, but it's not registering the hits. It's just saying hit. Like, so it's not doing any damage or something. I don't... I may not have a choice here. I think I have to flee. So... I'm just going to grab my bow, put it in my hand, put the pistol here, and we're going to uh, just retreat. So I don't know where that put me. Matter of fact, I have no idea where I am now. Which is great. Alright, so... I'm going to just have to stay in spot and try and deal with what I've got here. So I dropped all my water. We're going to have to build a fire. I'm going to have to end my turn, though. Um, apparently... The... Ah, okay, the crafting menu was on the wrong screen. Okay. You know what, this is well past time to wrap up the video here, so I guess I'm going to try and take care of this later. I really didn't want to have to flee from that dog man, but it was getting to the point where I'm wearing myself continuously hitting him, which was apparently not doing any damage. I could have kept shooting him, but I only have so much ammo to do that kind of stuff, so... All I wanted to do was build the fire, sterilize the water... And treat my wounds. That's all I wanted to do. But I didn't have enough action points to do it. As a matter of fact, I have another wound here that I have to uh, do something about. And I spend one turn and I get another dogman on me, which is just not great luck, unfortunately. But in any case, hopefully we can do something about it. But I've burned through a ton of my arrows now, uh, a lot of my ammo, and I'm still right next to Camp Grayling, and there's not a whole lot I can do about it because I'm having to deal with these hordes of uh, dogmen. But in any case, hopefully we can do this uh, sometime soon. In any case, this is Mouse Gunner, signing out.